Okay guys, so let's uh, do quick unboxing. I have tested some Doji phones before. Um, and you know what, they had some really cool features. So this is like a mid-range budget slash device. Let's have a look what we can find in the box. And what's great about those companies, like look at this, they will send you a screen protector. Okay, I wish Samsung and all the companies were doing that. There you go, cable, you can even add a strap on. This is Type C. It's great actually to see Type C on most of the phones now, even those cheapest. Right, this device will cost you around uh, $220, which means around £200 here in the UK. Oh, and I can see some interesting design. Now, this reminds me of Nothing Phone 1, the transparent back. Let me get the sticker out because I don't really like that. To be honest, for Rugged Phone, this is pretty lightweight, I have to say. And then you can see they applied screen protector there already. Brilliant. I just need to get rid of all the bubbles. Okay, so the design, I like it. Look at the camera chassis. So there are only uh, two cameras here. We have 48 megapixel main sensor, which I believe is the one here. And then the other one is 20 megapixel night vision camera, which is pretty cool. So sadly, there's no ultra wide angle, but you know me, I will be checking the camera performance for sure. But that is really nice. Okay, so let's have a look at the back on the side. So you got your SIM cards. Injectors there, let's have a look. Whoa. Dual SIM and the micro SD on the top of that. Love it. On the other side, you got your volume controller, fingerprint scanner. And here we've got our charging ports, type C, as I said, yeah. Now this phone has a um, MediaTek processor. It's the Helio G35, which is not the most powerful, but I will be doing some gaming later on to let you know my experience, you know, with this phone. So this is um, IPS screen with pretty big bezels, but this is something to be expected from the uh, rugged phone. You know, this phone is built to last forever and be very strong. It's great because this phone comes with Android 12 out of the box and you've got NFC payment. I thought at the beginning this was uh, the charging, but no, it's, the, uh, it's for payment. But so far, really like it. But let's set it all up, download a couple of games, and I'm gonna take my dogs for a walk and uh, be able to check performance of this camera. Front facing camera, 1080p, and the quality is looking pretty okay. Yeah, it is struggling with dynamic range. Let me do some walking. Yeah, stabilization is pretty bad, but let me switch between the lenses. I'm wondering. No, I cannot switch. I can take a selfie during recording, which is cool, but I have to stop and then I can make a video. This is the main sensor. So, this is the quality. Yeah, the phone is definitely struggling with some high dynamic range actions, but here is looking pretty nice. You can zoom it in times two, or go all the way up to times four. 
but the quality is just okay it's only 1080p but like a basic stuff then you should be absolutely fine Okay, so this is the night video and it's strange because it uses the flash to record the video. I haven't seen actually that before. It does make a difference as it brightens up the, uh, the scenery. Okay. Okay, so this is the night vision camera. What do you think? Sadly, you cannot make any videos uh, while it's literally like a live view, like on the you know CCTV cameras and stuff at night. But I think it's a pretty cool feature. I will definitely be using this as a second device for our camping trips, uh, trips with the kids because they will really enjoy that. Right, let's play some videos. It's finally here. Google Pixel 7 Pro. Are you ready for camera test? Let's go. Ultra wide angle, 4K, 30 frames per second. Stabilization is looking amazing. Look at dynamic range. Look at the colors. Really nice. To be honest, guys, this is actually better than I expected. So let's see what's the highest resolution. Yeah, 1080p, that's the highest we can actually go. There's only a single speaker, but to be honest, Again, it's okay. Nice. Pixel's doing an amazing job in terms of color accuracy. No, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, but let's do a little gaming now. So let's get... Asphalt 9 game, uh, which I'm a huge fan of. I don't really do much gaming, but this is the only game that I actually play. So there was pretty good performance, no lag whatsoever. I have to say it does the job. So I was really impressed, to be honest, for, you know, for, for the chipset. It did a pretty good job. I have to say, I really enjoy the Android experience. I mean, look at this, like different colors, and there are some uh, pretty futures. Look at that, the intelligence assistant. You've got so many options uh, here. I really like that. And what's great, um, this was pretty nice. Look at that. You know what, guys? This uh, rugged phone is really nice. I really enjoy uh, spending time with it. It has some really nice features, decent camera, selfie pictures with some uh, great features. Filters, etc. I really like that, guys. This is nice. I really like that. Now, remember, guys, I haven't been paid for any of those reviews. This is my honest opinion. Please check on, on other uh, very nice, rugged phones that I have tested before. Duji V20. Click up there. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Oh, the dogs are waiting for the walk again. See you shortly.